just mind-blowing. Active rescue operations happening right now. The misery index are rising. A state of emergency has been declared for 16 parishes in Louisiana. The deadly floodwaters submerged entire communities. The water rose so quickly it caught a lot of people by surprise. Every day we're looking for some way to help out individuals in our community. This was one of those times where we can actually help out another community that we call home. I still call Louisiana home, even though I'm here in Texas. So I've got a lot of family uh, still in that area. So anytime anything is impacting Louisiana, uh, we always try to do what we can to help out. One of our assistant principals, Joe Brackett, uh, saw the news of the flooding that happened in Louisiana. He knew that Officer Rochelle and I were both from Louisiana and asked what we could do to help out. He figured a school supply drive would be beneficial to the area. So he got with the student council and with the softball team to gather supplies and then we took over getting the supplies to Louisiana. The cause was personal to me because I'm from that area. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. My parents still live there. My two brothers still live there. My sister still lives there, and in fact, my sister-in-law is a teacher at Southside Elementary School in Denham Springs, which was one of the 12 schools that was flooded. The students and faculty of Flower Mound High School were amazing. From organizing the donations to the collections and the delivery, they were with us every step of the way. The people of Louisiana were blown away by the response that we had from our school. They really appreciated the fact that students here in Texas were thinking of them during their time of need and really stepped up to help out. As police officers here in Flower Mound, we're always looking for ways to help out our community. This donation drive gave us an opportunity to reach out to the community that we call home from right here in Flower Mound.